Hello friends, welcome to my channel DevOps Vijay. Today uh, we will be learning about how to install Tomcat and uh, we'll deploy a sample web application into Tomcat. First of all, your question will be why I have selected a Tomcat. Okay, as part of DevOps, if you are building something, you have to deploy somewhere. If it is a web application, you have to deploy in web server in market. You will get so many webs, uh, web application servers, uh, but Tomcat is um, easy and it's an open source version. So you can install in your Windows or Linux and you can easily deploy your application or I would say Java war file web archive into Tomcat and you can test. Okay, so it's like as part of the CD or the continuous delivery Tomcat is needed. That's why I have selected how to install Tomcat and uh, how to deploy the war file into Tomcat. Okay, go to the internet. Okay, type Tomcat download. Okay, if you see, you'll see so many versions. So it doesn't matter. You can click on any versions. Uh, you can click on any link. Okay, by default, it will take you to the uh, home. You can click on home. It will take you to the home page. Here you can select which version you want to download. Okay. Again, the important part about the Tomcat is you need to have Java in your uh, system, whether it is Linux or Windows. So let's select on the Tomcat 10. Okay. Scroll down. If you are so you can select as per your system underlying system. Tars is a 32 bit Windows 64 Windows. 3264 Windows service installer since I am going to install on the same laptop I will select this last 32 bit 64 bit Windows service installer click on this So it has downloaded Let's click on this one pop-up will come click on yes Okay Now you can see on the screen. Welcome to Apache Tomcat setup click on next click on I agree you, you have to select this host manager and examples also. It will be easy for you in future. So click on next. Okay. Server shutdown port. Keep it as it is. HTTP connection port 8080. By default, it comes on 8080. But I cannot use 8080 since I am already using Jenkins on 8080. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to give a different port. I will give 8081. Okay. Windows service name. It's Tomcat 10 username. You can give anything, whatever you want to give. I'll give DevOps. Okay, I'll give some password. Roles, leave it as it is. Click on next. Java. As I mentioned, it needs a Java. Please select the path of Java 11 or later. So Tomcat 10 needs JDK 11 or Java 11 or higher version. I already have JDK 11 because for Jenkins also requirement was JDK 11. Click on next. You can select any custom folder also. I'll keep it default. So all the four files and folders will go in this location. Click on install. Now it is installing everything related to Tomcat. You can see Tomcat has been installed. Run Tomcat, show readme, click on finish. So now Tomcat has been installed and started and it is showing the readme file. If you want, you can read this. What are all the dependencies, requirement and all. This will be helpful sometimes. Tomcat is designed to run on Java 11 and later API stability. For now, I'll close this. Okay. Now, since Tomcat is running, I have to browse localhost. Localhost 8081. I'll browse on this. Tomcat. See, this is my landing page of Tomcat server which I installed on my Windows. Okay. If you see, this is the basic uh, page, but for manager app, server status, host manager, you click on server status. If you click on server status, one pop up will come with username and password. You have to give the same username password which I mentioned DevOps and DevOps and some password. So this will give you the status.
now waterlog application is already deployed into the tomcat click on list applications it will tell you docs is deployed examples is deployed host manager manager is deployed if you see various buttons are there if you want to stop stop that application stop reload that application reload undeploy that application you can undeploy it now i am going to deploy one war file which i build it at my laptop only hello world war file web application file which i'll deploy in this tomcat application so what you have to do is war file to deploy scroll down you'll see this choose file option select this okay i have created this uh, maven web app project if you go i have built it using maven package command go inside the target maven web app project war if you click on this it will say select click on deploy if you see maven web app r project archetype created web application running is true it has been deployed okay if you want to stop this application you can stop it reload it and deploy it but how do i browse this application if you have to give it to the customer that application has been deployed please start browsing it so what you have to do is either you can click and give the url to anyone else with ip address and nginx and all so this is the one url where you can browse it okay this is the default location so this is how we have installed a tomcat and deployed war file into the tomcat successfully uh, this will be helpful uh, when eventually when i'll be doing a complete ci cd setup when the viewers are able to comfortable with jenkins maven tomcat uh, git then using this tools i am going to set up a complete ci cd project in my laptop and i'll show you Thank you for watching this video.